All right, this is Nick Patnode back with you again from TriNerds for your Healthy AF Spin Session of the Day. Today we're doing some in the saddle speed work. Uh, it's a 45 minute high intensity class. I uh, hope you're ready to get sweaty. All right, we're starting things off here with a nice little three minute warm up just to get those legs moving. Wake up those legs, wake up those lungs. It's about to get fast in here today. We're gonna spend most of our time in the saddle today and actually by most, I mean all of our time in the saddle unless you need to take a little bit of a stand to stretch out those legs. But hey, that's on you. I'm not gonna tell you to stand up. Um, got over two and a half minutes here of easy pedaling. I want you to keep it nice and light. You can slowly ramp it up every minute or so, but don't worry too much about intensity for this first section. We're gonna work on our pedal stroke specifically. Uh, so while we have both legs clipped in, there's some foreshadowing for you. While we have both legs clipped in, I want you to focus on a little bit of what we call dorsi and plantar flexion. So dorsi flexion being lifting the toes up from the ankle, plantar flexion being pressing them down. At the top of that pedal stroke, I want you to work on a little bit of dorsi flexion, pulling your toes up. And at the bottom of the pedal stroke, work on that plantar flexion, pushing that foot down through the bottom of the pedal stroke. Giving you a nice even pedal stroke here. As with most warm ups, trying to keep it between that like 85 and 95 RPM zone here. Not a fast cadence, but not slow either. You have a naturally slow cadence. High. Chances are you probably don't have a cadence that's naturally higher than 95. But if you do, it feels really slow for you. And that's fine. We got a minute more here, focusing on that lifting, that uh, dorsal flexion at the top of that pedal stroke, plantar flexion down at the bottom. Now, I alluded to it at the beginning. So, we are two leg right now. In a minute, we're gonna unclip one foot. We're gonna seamlessly unclip one foot. Very seamless. And we're gonna pedal with one foot only. What this is gonna do is gonna force us to find any dead spots in our pedal stroke. So it's gonna force us to address them and give us a bit of a chance to focus on each individual foot on its own. Especially like we started with that dorsi and plant reflection within the stroke. So 30 seconds here, and then we're going to get into it. When you unclip your foot, depending on what kind of bike you're on, uh, we'll determine where you put your foot. Because I'm on a spin bike, I'm just gonna rest my foot on the top tube. If you're on a trainer, you may just wanna hold the unclipped foot out to the side. We're gonna start with right leg only, which means we're gonna unclip the left. So wherever you wanna put that left foot, we're gonna take it off here in four, three, two, and here we go, this is the first part. One leg only, now, probably can't hear my bike, but I can. If I pedal nice and evenly, there's a nice even sort of boom, boom, boom. If you just had a, uh, a little bit of an uneven pedal stroke, you might get boom, 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 boom. You wanna try and create as even of a tone, especially if you have a chain, you can really notice it. As even of a tone as you can. So 85 to 95 RPM, we're gonna switch legs. Three, two, and left leg only. Feet, right foot is off, nice and steady here. Again, 85 to 95 RPM, practicing that torque reflection at the top, plant reflection at the bottom, lifting up at the top, pressing down through the bottom. All right, relax those shoulders down just a little bit. Let's keep it nice and steady. I'm watching my cadence now, right at 87 right now. We've got four, three, two, and back to the right leg. We're doing four rounds of this. So this is our second round on the right leg. Get right back into that steady rhythm, that steady pedal stroke. Lifting the toes at the top, pressing down through the bottom. Really try and feel right behind your big toe, right? That metatarsal where the big toe connects, sort of the foot knuckle. I want you to feel the pressure coming down through there. Oh, my cadence dropped a little bit. Bring it back up. There we go, release six. You got three, two, and bring it back. Left leg, right into it. Here we go, we're just doing 30 seconds on each of these. Nice and steady, go 
relax. Up and down. Since we're only doing one leg at a time, you can really focus in on that lifting and pressing through. Try and keep that tone even when you hear the sound of your drive train. As even as possible. We got, we got three, two, and back to the right. Right leg only. Nice and smooth. It's round three. Now three of four. Remember, we got four of these that we're getting into. Nice. Stroke. Really working on getting control of our legs. So we're going to be doing some speed work today. We want to be able to keep our hips planted in the saddle. You got three, two, and switch sides. Keep it 85 to 90. Here we go. We want to be able to keep our hips planted in the saddle and have the most power transfer possible. We want to be as efficient as possible when we get into these speed sets. So by understanding the dynamic of how the pressure slides from your hip, glute, hamstring, calf down through the foot, it's really going to help us when we get those speed sets. We have three, two, and back to the right. Round four. Four, four. Let's finish on the left. This is our right side right now. So one more on the left. Really driving in, learning how to most effectively and efficiently move each leg, and then to do it in tandem. So one leg with the other, together. Nice and controlled here. These still aren't hard sets. We've got four, three, two, and left leg only. Here, the last one on the left only. Yeah. Two seconds here. Twenty more. Nice and controlled cadence. Drop those shoulders. Relax. Pull forward from the hips. Keep that spine nice and long. Try not to collapse through the spine. Keep that length. Nice and tall, strong. Do that spine. You got three, two, and take it nice and easy. Spin those legs out. Give me one minute here. And then we're going to do three rounds of accelerations. These accelerations, we're going to put them at a fairly high intensity. Um, in that intensity, I want you to work on high cadence more than high resistance. We're going to work on 120 RPM or higher. We're trying to get that turnover. Uh, really trying to focus on accelerating as quick as you can, getting a high neurological activity. And then really dial it down, ease it off for 54 seconds of recovery. So it's going to be these uh, one minute steps. All right, sorry, we got four of them. Add just a little bit of resistance here. This is something behind your legs when you turn them over. We're going to get going in four, three, two, and high cadence. Turn it over for six seconds. Two, and back it off. Relax, let that cadence settle back down to that 85. Nice and easy here, spin it out. Keep control, relax the shoulders. Especially as we get into these hard and fast steps, tendency is you really want to close this up. Transfer power, it feels like you're doing a lot more work. You close those shoulders up, you don't. Drop those shoulders down. Do a nice and easy and relax. Back off the tendency for the last few seconds here. Looks like you want my heart rate to come back down. So we're going to do the same. Heart rate still up. 85 to 95 here. 10 seconds. We're going to get right back into it. Bring that tension up. Keep it down. In three, two, and quick acceleration. It's only six seconds. Fast legs. 120 or greater. Two, and easy. Back it up. All right, I'm taking it down a little bit. Whew. Feel that heart rate just like jumping out of your chest and you feel like climbing up to your throat. Man, takes a few seconds. Just let that breathing rate really catch on to what we were just making it do. Just getting these massive, massive doses of oxygen to the legs in preparation for like a sustained effort, but psych, we took it pretty easy. 
All right, one more second here. Relax those shoulders. Breathe deep, pull forward from the hips. Make some tall turns, breathe deep into that diaphragm. Press that air down. Not just breathing the chest. Open up, we got three, two, and go for six. Three, two, and back it off. Nice and easy. Relax. All right, 40 seconds here. We are next going into some higher intensity efforts. We're gonna crank on a bit more resistance. I want you hitting close to what we would call a VO2 max intensity. If you've ever done a VO2 max test, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about, but that's sort of that peak power that you hit aerobically. That's what we're going for. We're gonna do 20 seconds on. Get a nice little minute 40 off. With a really high intensity, you crank on the tension. I want you in that 110 to 130 range for your cadence, whatever feels best for you. You're gonna hit and hold that. Give it a bit of tension here. We're going right into it. We're going in three, two, and on we go. Here we go, nice high intensity. Hold the cadence up, nice and high. 20 seconds down, one minute to go. Fast legs, let those shoulders drop down. 110 to 130 on that cadence. That heart rate should start. Shoot up here, breathing rate. Starting to get deeper. Focus on sending that breath deep down into that diaphragm. Don't just breathe with the chest. Breathe deep, breathe low. Big strong effort. Keep that cadence up. 20 more seconds. Then a nice long recovery. Five, four, three, two, and down. Nice and easy. Low resistance. Ah. All right. Very low resistance. Maybe 40 seconds off here. Ooh. 20 seconds remaining. We're going right back into it. The OG max effort. Sort of like you go for three to six minutes at your absolute max pace. That's sort of like where you would be. We're doing this for 90 seconds at a time. We got, we got three, two, and on. Sorry, minute 20, 80 seconds. 80 seconds at a time. 40 off. High intensity is breaking down. The CO2 max effort into bite sized chunks. That cadence up. Put above 110, 110 to 130. If you're a high cadence kind of person, kind of cyclist, keep that cadence up higher. If you're a low cadence cyclist, 110 is all you need. Woo. I'm feeling good. I hope you are. Good job. Keep it above 110, turn it over, turn it over. 30 to go. Up, 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 up. Let's go. Let's go. 20 seconds. Stay in it. Where are your feet? Keep track of what those feet are doing. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and down. Woo. A little lower than that. Thank you very much. Right. 30 more seconds here. That's two of four done. Two out of four. Two more just like that. 
three to a long sustained threshold effort. It's gonna hurt coming off the field from access. Ten seconds to go. We got four, three, two. Back on. Get that cadence up. Get that resistance up. Get that cadence up. Let's go. Let's go. Fight for it. Get that cadence up. Pull out at 108. Come on. There we go. 115. 117. This is where we gotta be. Right here. This is the sweet spot. Hold that high cadence. It's only a minute 20. Woo. Deep. Diaphragmatic breaths. We're here for the pain. We're enjoying it. We love it. You know what? We love the pain so much. Yeah. Let's get a little more. A little more. Why not? Big power in those legs. Keep that turnover. Fast legs. Rip it. Rip it. Rip those bars right off. Here we go. Unleash your inner Robert Forsman. If you don't know the reference, Google Robert Forsman legs, and you will be immediately enlightened. Five, four, three, two, and back it off. Woo! Keeping those hips in the saddle, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! And everything in between. You're all welcome here. We got one more set. Just over 20 seconds to go here. A very light recovery. Very light recovery. So when we're in these big heavy sets, remember, where are those hips at? Keep them planted in the saddle. Push from the hips, not with the hips. From the hips. Lock and low. Three, two, and last one on this set. Here we go. Cadence up. Oh yeah, I had more last time, didn't I? There we go. Woo! Burn, baby, burn! This is what we got. may not be the class you want, this is the class you get, and it's the class you're gonna do. Do it. Never stop, never stop, never stop right? Push through it. If you're not enjoying this session, probably means you need to do more of it. And if you love this stuff, by all means do more of it. Work your strengths. But more importantly, work your weaknesses. Cadence up. I'm dipping to 114. Come on. I'm going to take it to 117. I'm holding it here at 120. I'm holding 120. I'm not going to let 120 slip away. Ah, 19. Come on. Here we go. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Ah. You only get 40 seconds. The way. So, enjoy it. Wow, last. Nothing good lasts forever. Woo! Especially not rest. Woo! Bad in here. Next up. We're just gonna kick it up to a threshold set. Take it up halfway to that. We're gonna hold this. Here we go. Nice long set here. Nice long set. Settle into a strong threshold effort. Big threshold set here. Hold 90. 100, strong pace, fast legs. Burn your four minutes here. 
strong four minutes. Trying to keep in the saddle. Keep those legs turning over. It's like if you were out for like a 20 or 40 kilometer effort. If you're trying to do it absolute best. In the case I want you to settle in. Ooh, one. Woo! Nice and strong. I'll fire one of those. Look at that. Woo! That's the best part about having a studio, friends. Maybe you have a significant other in the kitchen. You can toss you an extra towel. Make it happen, Captain. Make it happen. Right, nice and strong here. Get those legs turning over. 90 to 100. You know, I'm gonna drop my cadence bit. 95. I'm gonna add resistance. A little more in my comfort zone. Nothing wrong with that. My average cadence is usually like 90, 88 to 90 on these threshold efforts, I was in a race. So I'm pushing for five RPM above that right now. Just to make it a bit of a challenge. Here we go. Nice little turnover. Halfway. Nice and strong. Turn those legs over. Strong, steady power. Hold those hips in place. What are those feet doing? Where's that? Dorsey. Plant reflection. Get a little bit of a dynamic pedal stroke through there. Strong legs to this. Strong legs. Oh. I just looked at my clock and I realized it is. Eight minutes on this first set. The second set is almost four minutes. Sorry about that. We are almost halfway. Woo! My bad. Happy days. Lucky you, surprise, surprise. We're all in it. We're all in it together. Eight minutes is better than four, though, to be honest. At least you're not doing the eight minute one at the end of class, right? So, hey, 30 seconds until the four minute mark, and uh, that'll be your halfway. If you haven't got that towel yet, maybe you want to start calling someone's name. Bring that towel over for you. Focus on that deep diaphragm breath. Press through those hips. Get those hamstrings quad engaged. Get those feet moving. Get that torso flexion on the top. Plant the flexion the box. Just a little bit, it's not a lot. Look at the difference. It's like 12 to 20 degrees of pillow. Nothing extravagant. Nice. Oh. Deep controlled breath. Showing that diaphragm. Take note of what each foot is doing independently. Follow your right foot for a few seconds here. See how your right foot is moving. Where's the pressure? Put some pressure mapping. Try and visualize where the pressure is in your shoe. Where are you pushing? Where are you applying force? Think all the way up the leg. What muscles are feeling the tension? What muscles are doing the most work? To the left side now. Focus on the left. Where's the pressure mapping in the foot? On the left. Where's the most pressure at? Where's that force being applied to the pedal? Sort of between your first and your fifth metatarsal, meaning the knuckle of your pinky toe and your big toe, kind of offset, right? Sort of in between those is the ideal. That's where we want to be. Think up the leg, what muscle groups are working. You should have some quads, some hamstrings, some glutes. 
Okay. Nice and strong through here. Now, we're going to focus back to both legs. How similar are they? Or how different are One side working more than the other. Maybe it is. Maybe you can change that just with the power to mind. Last two minutes here. You just cross the six minute threshold. It's that pressure mapping between your left and your right. Does one feel like there's more pressure in one foot than the other? Is one more rotated or less rotated? As you feel the fatigue setting in, taking hold. Keep that cadence up for one. For second, number two. Really focus on what muscle groups are starting to take over more. Maybe when you first lift those legs, there's one particular muscle group working harder, and now it's another. Maybe those hamstrings aren't working as hard. Maybe you need to engage them again. Maybe they've turned off. The glutes have turned off. Last one minute. Here we go. Here we go. Keep that turnover. Keep that pressure. Keep that power. Through the legs. Deep into the lungs. Feel deep down. The deepest crevices of your diaphragm you can. Fill that belly with air. Super oxygenate those muscles. They're working hard for you. They're doing everything they can for you. Show them a little love. Give them a little bit of O2. O2, they love it. 15 seconds. Then we'll back it off for our recovery. Five, four, three, two, and ease it off. Woo. We'll take four minutes here of light recovery, light rest. All right. I hope that feels good. Good enough you can do it all again. We're going to go right back down to those VO2 max sets. We're going to do another four rounds. We're going to hit them hard every time. And then, hey, we're going to do one more four minute special check. Done. All right. So on this last set here, after the, the last round, we're doing 60 seconds on at VO2 max, 60 seconds off, 60 60 this time around, same intensity as the first time around, we're super high intensity, super low on the recovery, and we're going to go right into our four minutes of uh, threshold again, we're good to go. Done. Breathing water right now. So we got it. We got that towel. My arms are like covered. I don't know if it shows up in the camera or not. Sweaty. All right. Minute 20 to go here. Really relax the shoulders here. Try and settle back into that. Nice and cool. Beat it. Again, back to that like 85 to 95 range. So really in control. Control like not only the intensity, but where you are, how they're moving. Let's go. Two seconds to go here. And then we're right back into our 60s. Right back into our VO2 max sets, but on 60 second effort. So. Seconds at VO2, seconds off. Whatever you were hitting on that first set, try and hold the same output. Your legs are going to be tired, they're a little more fatigued than you started. 
okay? The king's work. Second, you're trying to psych yourself up for this. So, uh, you know, if you're having a hard time, I'm right here with you. Alright. I got 135 on the trainer yesterday. So, now, we're going in 3, 2, and on we go. Remember, 110 to 130. Get that cadence up. Do 60 second effort. Oh, they're here to induce. We're not trying to make it easy. And if your legs are tired from a previous workout, great. That's wonderful. You're training yourself to push through that. That's what I tell myself, at least. That's what I tell myself. It's working so far. Cadence up. Big power, 20 more seconds. Get through it. Get through it. Cadence up, come on, 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and down. Woo! That's one. One out of four. Spin it out. Woo! Oh, we talked about those shoulders earlier on. It's hard, they want to creep up. Relax on the recovery. Sit up nice and tall. Lengthen that spine. Your diaphragm is loose. Make sure you keep that breath in. Fill that belly button. Fill that belly button with air. Alright. That was fun while it lasted. 15 seconds left on this recovery. Spin those legs. 85 to 95. Here we go. Getting ready for that next VO2 set. 110 to 130. In four, three, two. Crank it up. Crank it on. Here we go. Riding on the drops. Getting aggressive in these sprints. Trying to make them realistic, right? Go, keep those hips nice and level. Lightly bracing to the core. Fill that diaphragm with air. Strong breathing. Strong pedaling. Mental focus. Keep it in the moment. Even though the moment hurts, you're pushing through that. You're showing your body, your mind, stronger. Here we go. Give Goggins clothes for you. Who's gonna carry the boats, son? Who's gonna carry the boats? We're carrying the boats. That's who. Three, two, and ease it off. Woo. If you don't know what I'm saying, I'm gonna ask you carrying the boats, who's gonna carry the boats? Don't worry. Only David Boggins knows what he's saying. Nobody else does. But it's inspiring, you know? If no one else is, we will. We'll step up. Woo! Do the work that others won't. Pretty sure that's all he's trying to get. All he's trying to get. All right, nice and tall in that recovery. 20 seconds. All right, three of four. Look at that. Seconds. Here we go. We're going in five, four, three, two, and it's on you. Shake it up. 60 seconds. This is how it's supposed to be. Drop those shoulders. Lengthen that spine. Woo. I'm taking my own cues as advice. Here we go. I forget too, especially when I'm working hard. Cadence up. Power into it. 30 seconds. We get a little more. Woo! Let the 
Let's get times well. Here we go. 15. All the way. Plant those hips. Push from the hips. Turn over. Turn over. Four. Three. Two. And rest. Ah, feels good. Ah. This is type two fun. It's time where it hurts, but you know we're having a good time. Got some good synth pop, pop synth wave, synth wave pop. Doesn't matter. It's deep and synthy. That's all I need. That and the neon lights. Seconds. Get ready for that one last effort here. If you're counting with me, you had 10 seconds left. You know that already. Here we go. Biggest set yet. Four, three, two, and leave it all out on this one. Oh, I'm going an extra, extra few watts here. Let's see. It can't hurt. It can hurt, but that's what I want. Here for the hurt, hurt walker. Already 15 in. Big power. Push those legs, push those legs. Turn over, turn over, turn over. Cadence, where are we at? 112, check, I'm above. I'm above 110. Here we go, push 15, 115. There we go. 20 seconds here. Big push. Big push. Take it in. Last of the big efforts. 10 seconds. Keep the cadence up. Three, two, and down. Woo. One minute off. Then we have a four minute threshold to finish. We were riding like Volta, the Giro, for the Tour. We were just making all these big breakaways, trying to like drop the group, drop the group. It's not happening. We keep getting eaten up again. So now we're just gonna hold on and suffer and grind to the finish as long as we can. It wouldn't only be a 45 minute session, but you know, we're condensing that like four hour session. All right, we're gonna crank it back up in three, two, and this is the threshold set. So whatever you think, you can do the last five kilometers in a 20 or 40 kilometer time trial. That's what I want you to feel. We're doing that last 5K. Last 3K. Remember we don't have to have crazy high cadence here. 90 to 110. I'm a little high, I'm at 105. I'm gonna settle into what my true effort would be. A little lower cadence. Maybe at 100, in the last few kilometers. I know I pick up the cadence. I think that's gonna be fine. That's gonna be lower. You can't see it. You know it's around the corner. Here. You know it's coming up. You know your finish line is just ahead, just out of sight, but not out of reach. Well within your grasp. Find that extra little bit deep inside. Hold those last. If I could find a way to say the right words to. Don't 